Hello and girls and welcome back to Beeson Fields Home Learning. Today in our math challenge we are learning about shapes. So we have been learning about shapes boys and girls all this week and today with our shapes we are going to be making some patterns with some straws or if you don't have straws you can do this with dough or if you don't even have dough you can use sticks from your garden. The next thing is using straws to make our shapes because this is what I have in my house. And the shapes, boys and girls, we are going to be looking at today that we have been learning all week is a circle, a rectangle, a triangle, and a square. Now, can you remember a circle is all the way round. A rectangle has four different sides. One, two, three, four. And a triangle has three different sides three same sides, sorry, one, two, three, and four sides for a square, one, two, three, four. And remember boys and squares, a square has four same sides, whereas a rectangle has four different sides. So let's see if we can make some of these shapes using my straws. So the first shape, boys and girls, I'm going to do is a triangle. And remember, we need three sides. So I think I'm going to count three straws. So one, two, three. So first of all, what Miss Thing is going to do is I'm going to see if I can copy this shape. So I'm going to put it this way, that way. And I think I need a bottom bit as well. And I have done it. That is my triangle. And let's double check if it's got three sides. One, two, three. That is a triangle. Now let's see if we can make a different shape on our shape mat. That's right, I'm going to do a square next. So remember boys and girls, a square has four same sides. So I think I'm going to need four straws. So because I have one, two, three, I think I'm going to need one more to make four. So I'm going to get a red one. So let's see if we can move these around. So I'm going to put this one here. And remember, I'm just following the shape on my shape back. So I think I'm going to put this one down here, the red one up here, and this one on the top. Now let me see if I have made a square. I have made a square, boys and girls. Look at that. And it has four of the same sides. One, two, three, four. That is a square. Now let's see what other shape we can make today. So let's see if we can have a go at the rectangle. Now remember, a rectangle has four different sides whereas a square has four same sides. So, I still, so I've got four straws and that's what I need, but I need to change my shape of how we make it. So I'm going to just, I'm just going to move my straws around and let's see if I can make a rectangle. Let's see if this works. Because this might not work, boys and girls. See, I think I've just made a square because my straws are all the same size. So what I might need, boys and girls, is more rect more straws to make a longer side. Because if you look at this rectangle, these sides are really long, but these sides at the bottom and the top are really small. So maybe I need to do that. So I'm going to do a small side on the top, and I'm going to make this side really long. Have I done it, boys and girls? Let's have a look. I have, Miss Sink has made a rectangle. Look at that. So I was right. These sides needed to be longer, whereas the parts on the bottom and on the top were quite small and short. So let's count. Remember, these straws are one. So 
One, two, three, four. Does that look like a rectangle, boys and girls? I think it does. So, the we'll last shape. two boys and girls, and our last shape is a circle. So, what we are going to do for our circle, because it is round, and because our straws are all straight or like this, we are going to crumble them up like this in our hands, make sure they're all nice and bent, and we are then going to try and put them in a circle. So, I have already bent my straws, so I'm going to see if I can put them together to make a circle. I think we might have done it boys and girls. Have a look. That is our circle. Look at that. That looks great. So if you have a go at making some of our shapes boys and girls with some straws or with some dough or even with some sticks from outside, then remember we are making shapes of circle, rectangles, triangles and squares. And please make sure you upload your learning to Tapestries because me and the rest of the Beast and Phil team love to see your learning. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.